why the narcissist will hate and envy you forever. The narcissist targeted you because they liked something about you. Something about you caught their attention. It caught their eye. And it drew them to you. It caused them to want to be involved with you. Because they were attracted to these good qualities that you possess. They wanted to partake in that. They wanted to participate and join in the activity. It's like if you see a certain type of food. It might look very delicious. So you want to try it. You want to see what it tastes like. And you may find that not only does it look good, but it also tastes good. But then you start to feel ill. Maybe you get a bad stomach. Maybe you have an allergy to this particular food. So you naturally assume that you need to stop eating this food. You understand that you shouldn't eat it again because it's not good for you. It's making you ill. This is a normal, healthy response. If something doesn't sit right with you, you leave it alone. You don't keep going back to it. But the narcissist will. They come around you because they like your good qualities. That's what attracted them to you. But then their vibratory frequency interacts with your frequency. And these frequencies are not compatible. They are not able to occur or exist together without problems or conflict. Because you're coming from a place of peace, love, joy and acceptance. while the narcissist is operating on a very low frequency of shame, fear and insecurity. And naturally a person who is operating at that level is only going to pull you down. While your happiness and positivity is just going to make them sick It's going to make them hateful and envious. It's going to make them very angry. Because they are allergic to your good qualities. It's not meant for their consumption. Because although they can ingest it, they cannot metabolize it. They cannot process the information in a healthy and effective manner. Because it interacts with who they are. It conflicts with their state of being. So then they get sick. And this is the crazy dysfunctional part of this. Because instead of realizing that maybe it's just not meant for them, they turn against it. 
they begin to hate you. When what they should do is realise it's just not meant for their consumption. But instead of realising this, they blame the individual. They try to make it out like there's something wrong with you. Because witnessing these qualities is making them sick. It's making them hateful and envious of you. But they will continue to return to the very thing they profess is not good or not right. If you go to a restaurant and you don't like the food or the service there, or maybe it's a TV show that you don't like, You wouldn't keep going back. Just a bitch and complain about it. You would just leave it alone. But the narcissist will keep coming back to the very thing they say they don't like, to the very thing they say is bad. just so they can have an opportunity to hate. Just so they can have an opportunity to complain about something. They cannot be alone with their own thoughts because they already know that they're no good. If a person really values themselves, they would want to spend as much time with themselves as possible. Because they understand just how good they are for themselves. But narcissists know that they are not good for themselves, which is why they have to surround themselves with other people. Because then they have an opportunity to dump their emotional baggage onto you. So even if you try to move on, they will continue to monitor you. They will stalk and harass you and watch everything you do. Because they're envious and jealous. They're trying to take something away from you and they feel like you're taking something away from them. The narcissist initially likes your good qualities. That's what attracted them to you. But when they get involved with you, your vibratory frequency interacts with theirs. And then they get sick. They begin to hate it. Yet they continue to return to the very thing they hate. The very thing they profess is not good or not right. when they really just need to leave that thing alone. Leave it for those who it does resonate with. Let them consume it. Because if it vibes with you, it's not going to do you any harm. Which means that you can partake and it will fulfill you. The reason why narcissists hate is because they can't get the same fulfillment from the things that normal people get very easily. But instead of realizing this, they get envious and jealous 
they take it out on you. They turn against you. When it's just not meant for their consumption. It just makes them mad. But rather than realizing this and allowing you to partake and get the nourishment that you need. Now they want to destroy it. Now they want to take it away from you. Because they cannot be a part of it. They will stalk and harass you. They will watch everything you do. Yet everything they see and hear will affect them greatly. It's not going to do them any good. It will make them sick. It will only cause them to become more hateful, angry and envious towards you. Because it's not meant for their consumption. But they will still continue to come back. It's like an obsession. They have these ideas and thoughts that continually preoccupy their minds. It becomes an addiction where they become dependent on you. Where they can't leave you alone. Even though they say that you're no good. A healthy, functional person will be able to digest your good qualities. They will be able to metabolize it. And they will be able to absorb the information. They will be able to absorb the nutrients without letting it affect their frequency. And it won't cause them any discomfort. Because they're on the same frequency. It vibes with them. But the narcissist feels great discomfort whenever they are around you. It's like your mere existence is driving them insane. It's like you're bringing out the worst in them. And all they can do is complain about you. Whenever they read certain information or hear certain things, they always find something to complain about. There's always something that makes them mad. And they will make you feel like you could never be good enough for them. They will make you feel like something is not right about you. Because you're not meant for their consumption. Which is fine. You are not meant for everyone. And everyone is not meant for you. But the narcissist will continue to come back. They will stalk and harass you. While knowing that it's going to make them sick. It's going to make them hateful, angry and envious of you. Which is a clear identification of their disorder. Because a normal functional person is not going to do that. They're not going to keep returning to something that they say is bad. They're not going to keep returning to something that is not good for them or that they don't like. Because they're going to listen to their body, mind and soul. And it's going to give them clear signs that they are not meant to consume this person. 
But narcissists will keep coming back to you. They will keep returning. Only to get mad at you. Only to blame you for everything. When you are not meant for their consumption. They need to leave you alone. They need to mind their own business. And let those who are on your frequency partake and receive fulfillment. People who have qualities that resonate with you. Because it makes you feel good. It makes you happy. Because you're on the same frequency. But it's no good for the narcissist. Which is why they always get mad. Because they're very hateful and envious of you. They will continue to consume the very thing they hate. Over and over again. While it's making them sick. As you begin to heal and practice self-love, it will make the narcissist very sick. They will become even more hateful and envious towards you. They will try to take away your happiness and contentment because they cannot partake and get the same fulfillment. If you value your self-worth and self-esteem and you believe that boundaries are important being around you is going to make the narcissist sick. They cannot be around a person like that because they need everything to be done their way. They need to get what they want. They need you to forget about yourself and focus on them. They cannot deal with people who do attend to themselves. They cannot deal with people who take their own feelings and needs into consideration. Because then they cannot partake. It just makes them envious of you. They may even call you selfish for doing that. Because they want all of your attention to be on them. They want you to cater to their needs. So if you are a strong, confident person who values and respects yourself, you will naturally experience conflict with a narcissist. Because they need you to be a pushover. They need you to be their doormat. And if you're not, they cannot partake and get the same fulfillment. They cannot metabolize it. Yet they will still continue to come back. Even though it's making them sick. They don't want you to operate on that frequency anymore. Because they can't partake. They can't be a part of it. So now they want to separate you from the very thing that fulfills you in life. Because they can't get anything out of it. It doesn't do anything for them. And they look at it like... If it doesn't do anything for them... Then it shouldn't do anything for you. They don't care about what is good for you. They don't want you to progress or succeed.
if they think something might be good for you, they will keep it away from you. Because your happiness and fulfillment is a threat to the narcissist, it hurts them. They can't give you the proper nourishment that you need. But then they also don't want you to feel yourself. Because that only reminds them of their deficiencies. They look at it like they're not happy, so why should you be? How could you be so arrogant, audacious and entitled? To even think you deserve to be happy. When they're miserable. When they can't partake and get the same fulfillment. It offends them. Because it reminds them of their deficiencies. It reminds them of their unhappiness. But just because they cannot metabolize it. It doesn't mean that we should stop consuming it. If it resonates with you, continue to partake and nourish yourself. If it vibes with you, it's not going to do you any harm. Just like an athlete requires a specialist diet, or a high-end car requires the proper fuel, this will replenish you. It will allow you to progress and succeed in your lives. If you can find nourishment in it and it resonates and vibes with you, it's good for you. It's not going to do you any harm. But narcissists, no. They cannot do any of that. It makes them sick. It makes them hateful, angry and envious. Which is why they just need to stay away from it. And let those who it does vibe and resonate with. Consume it. And partake in the nutrients and nourishment that it has to offer to them. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.